Our next speaker this morning, certainly we're honored to have him with, our next speaker uh, is attending his first Farm Bureau convention, and we are honored to have uh, him with us this morning. But Representative, but State Representative Josh Dobson knows a lot about Farm Bureau. Trust me, I know he knows a lot about our organization. Representative Dobson is about to begin his fourth term in the North Carolina legislature, representing Avery, McDowell, and Mitchell counties. Representative Dobson chairs the House Health Committee and the Health and Human Services Appropriation Committee, both very important committees. In these roles, in these roles, Representative Dobson has been a strong advocate for legislation that would allow membership organizations, and you heard me talk about this yesterday, membership organizations like ours to offer health benefit plans to their members. Now, Representative Dobson has not wavered in his support for this important proposal. Even though it didn't pass the legislature in the, in the last session, he still has not wavered in his support for our idea, even in the face of intense opposition. For those of us who know Representative Dobson well, this certainly comes as no surprise. We know him as a man of integrity, and a man who has a strong work ethic. Representative Dobson is an instructor at McDowell Technical Community College. He lives in Nebo with his, with his wife and his daughter. Please join me in giving a warm Farm Bureau welcome to State Representative Josh Dobson. You know, I heard a president say one time, keep it short, keep it conversational, and keep it direct. So that's what I'm going to try to do. But before I do, I have to tell you a funny story. You know, when you get to hang out with people like Larry Wooten, come to speak to a group like this, uh, end up somehow chair of appropriations, health policy, um, for a guy like me, it'd be easy to use, lose my humility. But I have to tell you, I've got a 13-year-old daughter at home who reminds me of who I really am. <laughs> we were, I was chaperoning her school the other day, and actually we were, in, we were in Bush Gardens, and we were there, and I was chaperoning the boys, and she was with the girls, and we were riding across the top of Bush Gardens, and I was messing with the boys and playing and joking and everything. We get to the other side, and one of the boys says, Kendi, guess what? I got to ride across Bush Gardens with your dad up high. She looked at him and said, did you get bored while you were doing that? <laughs> so she keeps me humble and reminds me of who I really am for sure. Thank you, honestly, for the opportunity to be here in all seriousness. Uh, I want to say thank you for the support that you all have given me over the last six years. You all supported me way back in the beginning, long before I was chair of anything. I don't take that for granted, and I want you to know that. I want to say how grateful, and this is the most important thing I want to say, how, how grateful I am for the resource that you all have been for me over the last six years. I can't tell you how refreshing it's been to have an organization I can go to when I have a question about legislation or how it will affect farmers, the agricultural community, or the members that you and I both represent. Any time over the last six years that there's been an agricultural issue or an insurance issue I wasn't sure of, or if it was a close call for me, one of the first things I wanted to know is what does Farm Bureau have to say about this? Because I trust Farm Bureau. And the reason I can have that level of confidence is because I trust this man to my right. I trust Jake Parker and Paul Sherman. I trust James Nations, Wayne Miller, and Eddie Bingham. Now, not only do I trust them, but I'm proud to call them my friends. We've worked on a lot of legislation together, and we stopped a lot of bad legislation over the last couple of years especially. One of the things I'm most proud of, even though we haven't got it across the finish line yet, is House Bill 933. This bill will allow family farmers, small farmers, Mr. Wooten's already said, small farm related businesses and others to unite for a more cost efficient option. In addition, businesses that couldn't afford coverage because of the expense would once again be able to cover their employees if we can get this bill passed. We all know that people are struggling, people that you and I see in our communities every day for their health care costs. 
In 2014, 90% of individuals eligible for subsidies purchased their health insurance through the exchange. That number dropped to 65% by 2017. House Bill 933 that you and I have worked on together for so long would give hardworking North Carolinians another option and relief when it comes to their health care coverage. Now, most of you I know know how this works, but how it works in the General Assembly when we go back for the long session, because we come up just short, when we go back in the long session, we'll have to start all over again. But you can rest assured, as Congressman Rousers talked about friends in, in D.C., there's, there's friends in Raleigh, there's legislators that know how important this legislation is, and we'll continue to fight until we get this legislation passed. So I look forward to that. And I'll close with this. I, I do think that people on both sides are tired of the bickering, they're tired of the fighting, they're tired of the struggle without anything actually getting done. I think people are hungry for a new kind of politics that sets ideology aside and says, how can we find common ground for the people that we represent? And that's what Farm Bureau is about. And that's why I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to stand with you guys. Because in the end, that's what it's about. It's not about ideology. It's about seeing a problem and trying to solve a problem. And that's what we've done together up to this time. And that's what I think we're going to do in the future. I'm excited about the things that we're going to do together. Again, I'm proud of the work that we've already done together. And as we go into this next long session... I look forward to working with you to continue to fight for the people of North Carolina. Thank you.